queen's using this. The queen and the royal family, my friends. Hello everybody. Or should I say Merry Christmas? No, obviously I'm not saying Merry Christmas. We've done an advent calendar unboxing already this year on my channel. This is the second, uh, needless to say, I don't need to say that it is Christmas. No, that it's not Christmas. Sorry, it's not Christmas. But it is advent calendar season, as in beauty advent calendar season. They always come out in kind of September, October time. It's just what happens, they always sell out really quickly. So, although it's not Christmas, we have got another advent calendar unboxing today. Sorry if you've watched the other one because I basically just repeated what I said at the other, the start of the other video, but oh well. Today we have something that I think is gonna be very special. I've seen absolutely no previews of this. I don't have a clue what's inside. We have the Molten Brown 2020 advent calendar. It says open here on the side, but we'll get to that in a second. Molten Brown is a brand that I use actually every day because I use their shower gels, so quite literally every day. It's a luxury brand, definitely, but I think at Christmas sometimes you do need that. I think Molten Brown is a great brand for like gifting and giving to people because it is so special. <sighs> if this isn't already sold out, I will link it below. You'll be able to check down there if it is still in stock. I have no idea if this is a 25 day advent calendar, if it's a 12 day advent calendar possibly. The only thing we can do is follow the instructions on the box and open here. Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be 12. Opens flat like this. Oh wow. I mean, look at it. If that doesn't say luxury, what does? Oh my God. This looks incredible. I feel like I know what door one's gonna be. If you watched my body shop video, you will know that I said the words mini shower gel about 40 times. I feel like with Molten Brown, I'm gonna say that even more. And I feel like door one could be a mini shower gel. Oh, look at that lovely. Is that embossing? What is, is that? Where the light hits it? Nice, luxury. Okay, what if we, I think I could be wrong. I don't think it is. Oh my God, look at how, oh, is it a bauble? Oh my God, day one, we have a Molten Brown shower gel bauble. This is vintage elderflower bath and shower gel in a bauble. It's the first day of your advent calendar and you've already got something to hang on your tree that then you can use afterwards. I love the Molten Brown um, baubles. I think they're such a good idea because they're like, they are quite affordable for Molten Brown. Like Molten Brown's a luxury brand and to get something that's like a little luxury that is affordable, that kind of doubles up, you can hang them on the tree, you can then use them on Christmas day. It's really nice. Door two, I'm looking, ah, door two, okay. Different shaped door, a little, a little size. Definitely not a bauble this time. What have we got? Ooh, okay. The matching body lotion to the vintage with elderflower it's the matching body lotion to the shower gel that we just got. Look at that, lovely. Honestly, if you want a little bit of luxury when you travel, bring your molten brown with you. And then wherever you are, you'll have luxury in your life, which we like, luxury. We love, we love a bit of luxury. Oh, day three, I see it down here. It is the same shape. Oh, this looks, <gasps> Bathing, exquisite bathing oil. Oh, I could tell because it's like a thinner constituency. Constituency? No, that's politics. Thinner consistency, bathing, you can see my head, hello. It's a luxury bathing oil. The jasmine and sun rose is actually the shower gel I'm using at the minute. The smell on this is amazing. Yes, smells like me. Oh no, it smells like me when I'm in the shower. <laughs> Lovely, put that in your bath. Luxury bath, who knew? Day four, ooh, day four, completely different shape of box. We have a very long, skinny one. What are you gonna bring us? If you haven't gathered already, Molten Brown is like bath and body care. Ooh, what is this? Is it a fragrance? Molten Brown Juniper Jazz Eau de Toilette. 
Now I think that this calendar is somewhat themed around Juniper Jazz. They always have a theme. Last year it was it was brandy what was it called last year it was bizarre brandy and it was like 1920s themed i've just finished burning the candle i saved it for special occasions it was beautiful it was like 1920s themed like roaring 20s who knew 2020 was going to turn out the way it did but this year we have juniper jazz this is my first time smelling it this is the eau de toilette what size is this? It's a perfect travel size, whatever it is. 7.5 mil, amazing for travel. Oh God, I love tiny fragrances. It's not even tiny, it's, it's quite big. Right, first time smelling it. Let's see. Oh, already I can smell it. Oh, that smells so nice. That smells amazing. Like last year, this is a very unisex fragrance, but I would say this is more if you like a manly fragrance, if you are a man or if you are, if you are a person that likes a manly fragrance, it smells lovely. I already know my dad's going to steal this from me. Day five. Day five. Ooh, another long skinny box, but with a grey design. Very nice. Very, very nice. Ooh, ooh, what's this? <gasps> Hand cream! Delicious rhubarb and rose hand cream. So we just had something that was very kind of unisex and this is kind of like the opposite. This is very, you know, female orientated. Amazing size of a hand cream. This is a 40 ml, so such good size. Usually small hand creams are 30. Rhubarb and rose, specifically called delicious rhubarb and rose, which I can vouch for, is really true, true to scent fragrances. Very much rhubarb, very much rose. Day six, ooh, day six, we have a really square box and a heavy box. If we're doing predictions, in the best case scenario, this would be a candle. But I don't know if there are candles in the advent calendar. Could be another bauble. <gasps> the candle collection. It's just, no. Oh my goodness. A candle. Like a little candle, but also such a good size candle. As always, glass packaging. Molten brown. A candle. A candle in an advent calendar. Molten brown candles are the best, by the way. They are absolutely beautiful. Again, such a, a nice luxury. Getting a candle in an advent calendar. I'm sorry, but that's just brilliant. Day seven. Where are we? Oh, we're here, day seven. Let's see what could be in here. Oh, have we got shower gel? I think this will be our first shower gel. Blue, hand wash. Hand wash. Molten brown, coastal, cypress and sea fennel, fine liquid hand wash. Also, did you know, right, on molten brown products, I don't know if they're on the boxes, no, they're not. They have the royal warrant. Can you see that on there? So on this, it says, by appointment to Her Majesty the Queen, supplier of toiletries, Molten Brown London. Do you know what that means? Do you know what that means? The Queen? The Queen's using this. The Queen and the Royal Family, my friends, are using these products in their bathrooms. Like, by appointment. She appointed them to make her toiletries. We're mixing with, with the right people here. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I always find that really funny because it's like, oh my God, what sense is she using? What sense is the queen using, you know? Uh, anyway, this is really cool. I've never smelt this before. Oh, oh my God, the scent on that. That is amazing. That is such a fresh scent. Like this says coastal cypress and sea fennel. This is such like a fresh kind of sea salt smell, like fresh ocean breeze. Okay, door eight, come at me. Ooh, door eight is quite a, quite a rectangular one. And something is kind of poking out of the side. What do we have here? Oh, 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 oh. 
the first shower gel. I thought the one before was a shower gel. You know what, we are getting really good variation of scents. Not one scent has been repeated other than the coordinating shower gel and body wash, uh, shower gel and, was it body lotion? Yeah, the first ones. They're the only ones that have been repeated. This is geranium, okay, I'm gonna have to prepare myself to say this, geranium nephitum. N knee fur tongue. I don't know what it is, but it's kind of like this greenish, greyish colour. Geranium nifitum. Geranium nifitum. Oh, oh, it's like. Oh, it's like. What is the word? It's not spicy. It's like warm, like strong. Mmm, door nine. Last time we got a fragrance in one of these boxes. So let's see. Oh, I think we've got another one. These are so great for travel. Is there another, there's another fragrance? Molten brown. Oh, this is the fragrance of the one we just smelled. Oh, it's very strong. It reminds me of like a sophisticated older man. I smell like a fancy man right now really good travel size of fragrance like when you're traveling i love sizes like this i hate bringing full-size bottles of perfume with me when i travel it's so annoying because they just like clatter everywhere you think they're gonna break you've got a huge perfume with you they're heavy because the bottles of glass that's perfect oh okay door 10 is another one, long one but it is slightly thicker what could we have in here i don't think we've really had a box like this yet Oh, Th they were cheeky with that one. What it, oh, it's a body oil. So we've had a bath oil, but we haven't had a body oil. We are getting such a good range of not only scents, but products. We've had shower gels, we've had bath and shower oils, we've had body oils, we've had fragrances, we've had a candle, we've had shower gels, we've had body lotions. We've had like every product they sell in different forms. So this is really nice. This is actually an, a body oil and it's orange and bergamot. I do think orange and bergamot is quite a classic scent from Molten Brown and I think it's one of my favorites. I love orange. <sighs> orange and bergamot, I've had their hand wash before and hand and body lotion. I think that's one of my favorite scents. I love, I love orange and bergamot. Dora Leather, ooh same size box. Is it orange or bag? Orange or bergamot, but the hand cream. What did I just say? What did I just say? Orange and bergamot hand cream. It's 40 mil again, a really good size. So many travel size hand creams are 30 mil rather than 40. You get more for your money. It's a more substantial size. Brilliant, and it's one of my favorite scents, so we love it. Day 12. Feels a bit weighty. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Ooh. Ooh. Okay, bath and shower gel. So I think this is the second, if my memory serves me right. The second bath and shower gel. And it is Heavenly Ginger Lily bath and shower gel. Look at the lovely colour of this. Wow. I know it's ginger lily, but when I smell that, I get lily. I do get the ginger, but I get... And like, I know it's a different thing, but it reminds me of it, probably because it's in the name. I don't know, but definitely more of a feminine scent there. Really like that. What are we gonna have? What are we gonna have? It's the body lotion to match Heavenly Ginger Lily bath and shower gel like we just saw. Amazing. Day 14, we have a thick one. Last time we had a box like this, we had a candle. I don't think we can have another candle, surely. I would love one, but surely they can't put two. No, I was right, it's a bauble. <gasps> what is this? Muddled Plum. This was one of their fragrance, uh, Christmas fragrances. Not last year, last year was Bizarre, Bizarre Brandy. The year before, it was Muddled Plum, and it is such a lovely scent. Here we have it, spinning around. Look at the glitter running through that. If that doesn't say festive to you, 
What does that say? This is almost a bit Halloween-y with its purple, isn't it? I like that, especially for the time of year that we're in. I love the idea of being able to put something on the tree like that. They're great. They're so great. Thank you, day 14. On to day 15. Where are you, day 15? Ah, right in front of me, as they all are. Day 15, long skinny box, very light. Oh, this looks different. Oh my goodness. What am I seeing in front of me? London Fire, the barber shop. Hydrate and soothe dry lips for a comfortable feel. Blended with antioxidant rich vitamin E and beeswax to keep lips soft and conditioned whatever the weather. For dry lips, smooth across. This is a lip balm. Look at this. Wow. I didn't know Molson Brown did lip balm. We are discovering so many products I didn't know about. Sounds like, I mean, it says London via the barber shop, which I think means that maybe this is like kind of uh, towards a male audience, which is good because men need to embrace. I know a lot of men do and are starting to, but men need to embrace moisturizing a bit. If there are men watching, let's all just do a bit of moisturizing together, please. We'll all look better when we're older. <gasps> Day 16, another little, ooh. When I say little, I say heavy. Heavy little box, day 16. What do you have for me? Could you? Not another candle. It's pink. Delicious rhubarb and rose candle. A molten brown candle. Delicious rhubarb and rose. And it is delicious, let me tell you. Two candles in an advent calendar, guys. I'm so pleased. Day 17, I see it. I would say medium in weight. Oh, is it? Sham shampoo, since when? When? Volumizing shampoo with Kamudu. What is Kamudu? London via Bali. I love that they tell you where these are from. I love it. I mean, just the details, just the details. I didn't know Walter Brown did shampoo. I thought, that is so nice. It's so like fresh. It's so like sea, you know, these kind of like blue ones that are so, they remind you of like holidays and being like fresh and lovely. The question is, are we gonna get a conditioner? Now, if my theory serves me correctly, we're looking for door 18 right now. I think if they do a conditioner to match that scent, we will be getting a conditioner. Look at me. Look at me. Wow. Who saw that coming? Me. Volumizing conditioner to match the shampoo. Oh. I'm... I'm stunned. I'm shocked and I'm stunned. I'm just gonna take a minute just to think about what's happening here. Okay, and we're back. Day 19, right in front of me. I mean, they're all right in front of me. What do you mean, Maria? This one feels, oh no, okay. It was a bit stuck. I thought it was quite heavy, but it feels like a normal weight. Ooh! <gasps> the smell that I have wanted to smell from Molten Brown for years. Fiery pink pepper. This is a scent that they always talk about on the shopping channel QVC, right? I love QVC. I put it on in the background sometimes because I like them. They're always really happy. They love to talk. I just like watching it. And they always say, they always talk about this scent, fiery pink pepper. And I've always said, what does fiery pink pepper smell like? Oh, oh so nice. This reminds me, this smells like Ireland. My mom's Irish. I don't know, maybe I have a relative that wears this in Ireland or something, but that is so nice. Really nice. It smells, I can't, I don't, I, I'm terrible at describing senses, but that's lovely. It's very unisex. A woman could wear that or a man could wear that. That's what unisex means, but you know what I mean. We have five days left, the little silver one again. Oh, what have we got? This is Jasmine Sunrise. The shower gel that I'm currently using, 
bath and shower gel, jasmine and sunrose. I used this this morning in my shower. Love it. It's great. It's an old favourite of mine. I think I've had a couple of bottles of that. It's great. It's really nice fragrance. It's very um, like feminine, quite warm. Really nice. Long one. Medium, I would say. In, in... What is this? Anti-fatigue eye gel. A cooling under eye gel to energize tired eyes with by G, I think it is, by G extract. This is a rollerball eye cream. Eye gel, I should say. Wow. What? I know this says London by the barbershop, but the barbershop is staying with me because I didn't know that Molten Brown did like lip balms and eye creams. I didn't know. I guess it's because it's like a barbershop range. It's probably more geared towards men. So why would I know? But, oh, oh, that's, that's one of the most impressive, I think. I didn't know they did them. Ooh, we've got a body oil, heavenly ginger lily. So the scent that we have, I believe, the shower gel and body lotion in, in a body oil. We've completed, well, kind of completed the set. It's so nice and floral. It reminds, why am I? So nice and floral. It smells like a scent and I can't remember what, but it's really floral. It does remind me of lilies really very nice day 23 is a big one it's a big one my prediction is bauble what's your prediction you can't tell me because you're not i'm right i know i am oh oh that's a nice color fiery pink pepper bath and shower gel so it's the scent that i really wanted to try oh, i can't wait to use that as a shower gel that's going to be lovely and like fresh but like feminine but also not Look at that pink. Oh, oh my God, my head is upside down. Hello. <laughs> I'm really pleased with this. And also really nice because that's like a day before Christmas Eve. So you could like then use that on Christmas Eve or something. Like if you're opening this in kind of like the evening time, you could be like, okay, tomorrow morning I'm gonna use the shower gel on Christmas Eve. Or you can put it on your tree and then use them after Christmas. It's like after Christmas presents. This ends on 24. That makes sense. Some of them do, some of them don't. It depends on who you get them from. This ends on 24. We have a little, we've got that little diamond on there to show you a special one. What are we gonna have on our final day of Molten Brown Advent calendars? Of Molten Brown, of Molten Brown Advent. It's a scent. Good one. What is it? Recharge black pepper. What? A little fragrance we've had three fragrances like the value in this calendar is great oh that smells lovely the fragrances pack some punch let me tell you that is so nice you would need the tiniest amount of that i'm gonna be walking around smelling like an expensive man today oh that's almost like citrusy but not it's like citrusy but peppery but like spicy, you know? Do you know or do you not? I'm not sure because I'm not very good at describing scents. Okay, so I've just had a look and the calendar is 175 pounds. Obviously, Molten Brown is a very luxury brand. So that price to me, that's pretty spot on. That's what I kind of thought it was gonna be. If you don't know Molten Brown, Molten Brown, luxury, really nice high-end products. The queen uses them. As always with advent calendars, there's always really good value to them. That's why I quite like them. I think they're a really good present or sometimes to buy for yourself because when you spend 175 pounds, you get a lot more than 175 pounds worth of value in the calendar. If you're somebody that loves Molten Brown, you maybe have like a family that loves Molten Brown or like you use Molten Brown and then you, you know, then the kids use it or your husband uses it or your boyfriend uses it or whatever. This is a really, really good thing to get. It's a nice treat to open something like this. And I think at Christmas time, everybody needs a little bit of like luxury. It's a really nice gift to give. I love giving people molten brown stuff because it's just nice. And the queen uses it. Like if the queen uses it, we can use it. Okay. 
I will link the calendar below if it's still in stock. I hope, I hope it is. And I will also link all of the products individually so you can check those out if there was any sort of ones you were specifically interested in. I will link those below as well. I would also put the prices below so then you can kind of see the full value of the calendar if you so wish. I hope you've enjoyed watching my unboxing of the calendar. You never know, we might get a few more in, we might not, who knows, but I have done one already on the Body Shop Advent Calendar, the mid-range one, so I will link that at the end of this video as well if you are looking for some Advent Calendar inspiration. I hope you have a very nice day and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.